Okay, so we're gonna be doing our gowning and gloving video. We're gonna start by opening up our gown, but there's a couple of things that you need to notice that are inappropriate for junior surgery. One, I am wearing nail polish. You cannot wear nail polish when you come to junior surgery. You have to take it off. Number two, I am not wearing a mask. I am not wearing a mask for the convenience of you guys being able to see what's happening and hopefully make this sound a little bit better. So we're gonna open our gown. First, you're gonna break your tape. And then because of how this is wrapped, I'm going to actually turn my gown pack over so I can open my first one away from me. The next one to the side, to the side. Let's see if it'll stay. And then the last one open towards yourself trying to fold the corners down so that nothing will refold back on itself. And then we're gonna open up our gloves. There's gloves, you can open up your package of gloves. I don't have a garbage can. This will go into the garbage can. And then your gloves you'll open next to your gown. Try and put it on the edge of the table so that you have a sterile surface against the edge of the table when you come to put your gloves on. Um, so we're now going to do our five minute um, scrub. You just need to remember that this is not going to be necessarily the length of a five minute scrub, but I'm going to go through all of the steps with you, making sure that you have a full five minute scrub when you come to junior surgery. Again, nail polish must be off for the sake of this video. Ignore my pink fingernails. So you're going to open up your scrub brush. Get soap in your mouth. Place it on the back of your sink, and then you're going to turn your water on with your knee, do a quick rinse, pull out your nail pick, and pick all of your nails underneath the wa running water. And then you can put your pick either on the top or in the sink. Now your hands, everything's wet, you're going to take your scrub brush, you'll get a little bit of a lather with the water, and then squeeze a good lather all over both arms and hands so that you can have five minutes of contact time of the soap on all of the skin that you need to clean. Next you're going to use your scrub brush to do your actual scrubbing, so don't use the bristle side because that's going to cause more damage to your skin, always use a scrub set, or the sponge side. You're going to start with your fingertips. You're going to move your way down your fingers so every side of your fingers has to get scrubbed. I'll go for my thumb and work my way out to my pinky. All the way down my hand. And I'm going to do my inside of my hand starting at my fingertips. Working my way down to the palm, the back, same thing. And then you're going to work your way down your wrist. Use your hand to hand or you go all the way one time. Good? Yeah. Okay. All the way around. Making sure to get all the way to your elbow. And then switch and repeat the same thing on the opposite hand. Okay. When you finish your scrub, you can either drop your scrub brush again back into the sink or place it on the top, not touching anything that's non sterile. Turn your water back on and then run fingertips. Always have to stay above your elbows, under your water.
and now you can go dry your hands. So you're gonna reach in to get your towel, make sure that you touch nothing but the towel in your pack. So grab your towel from the top, and then bend over at the waist, shake out your towel. You're gonna start at your hand, down your wrist, making sure that your towel is not touching your scrubs and that your other clean hand is not touching. And now I'm going to take my dry hand and reach for this bottom corner and turn my towel around. So now I have another dry section and do the same thing on my opposite hand. And when you're done, your towel will go into the laundry and your hands remain above your elbows at all times. Next, we're in a gown. So you're going to come in and you're going to pick up your gown, back away from your space so that you have space to open your gown. Stay up near your neck and dive your arms in to your sleeves. Have your assistant tie your gown. Next we're going to put on our gloves okay. before we can do our final tie of our gown. Yes. So okay. you're going to make sure your fingertips are fully hidden inside your gown the entire time. You're going to reach out. For me, I'm going to do my non-dominant hand first, so I'm right-handed. I'm going to reach out with my right hand, grab my left hand glove, and I'm going to take the thumb side and place it flat down on the cuff of my glove. You want the cuff of your glove to match the cuff of your gown. And then with your hand still inside your gown, grab the edge. Your left hand is going to grab the inside edge of your glove. And then you're going to pull this over your entire gown. Using your gown, you can still pull your glove on and adjust your hand. This hand now can touch this entire glove, so I'm going to tuck my fingers into sort of the cuff pocket on my right side. Thumb in that same position. We're going to put it down on this hand. I'm going to grab here. And again, I'm going to pull this over. Your gloved hands should never touch the cuffs of the gown, even though it's a challenge to get a pair of small gloves over a big cuff of a gown. And then you can adjust your sleeve, making sure the cuff of your glove is over the cuff of your gown the entire time. And adjust your fingers as needed. So next we're gonna tie the end of our gown. So as the serial person, you can untie your gown. You're gonna pass one side to a non-sterile assistant who's gonna hold that. You're going to turn, you're gonna pass your other sterile one to your non-sterile assistant and they will tie you. So the last option that you have is if you have a sterile assistant, again, as the sterile person in the gown, you untie your own gown, you're gonna pass the tie to a sterile assistant in their sterile gloves. You can turn, and then because they are sterile, you can take your tie back and tie your gown yourself. 